An April log. The USINESS magnet Peter Whalen speaks with his newly activated android in a lakeside apartment. The android chooses the name David for himself after observing Michelangelo's statue. Wayland states that one day they will search for mankind's creator together. David comments on his unlimited lifespan as compared to Wayland's, which unsettles Wayland. In 2104 AD, 11 years after the Prometheus expedition, the colonization ship Covenant is seven years from reaching planet Origin 6 with two. Zero colonists in stasis and one, 140 human embryos in cold storage. The ship is monitored by Walter, an advanced android model that physically resembles David. When a neutrino burst damages the ship, Walter reanimates the human crewmates. The ship's captain, Jake Branson, is incinerated when his stasis pod malfunctions. While repairing the ship, the crew picks up a transmission of a human voice from a nearby planet which appears eminently more habitable than Origin 6. Despite the protests of Daniels, Branson's widow, that this new perfect planet is too good to be true, the new captain, Christopher Oren, decides they will investigate. With pilot Tennessee maintaining covenant in orbit, his wife Ferris flies a lander to the planet's surface, where an expedition team tracks the transmission's signal to a crashed alien ship. Crew members Ledward and Hallett are infected by spores from fungus-like organisms. Orem's wife, Karimi, helps the rapidly deteriorating Ledward back to the lander, where Ferris quarantines both inside the med bay. A small pale alien creature Neomorph bursts from Ledward's back, killing him, and mauls Karimi to death. Ferris tries to kill the creature with a shotgun but triggers an explosion that kills her and destroys the lander. Nearby in the fields, another Neomorph bursts from Hallett's mouth, killing him, the creatures attack the remaining crew, killing crew member Anchor. The remaining crew kills one Neomorph before David, who survived the Prometheus mission, appears and scares off the other. David leads the crew to a temple in a city full of dead humanoids. He tells them that, upon his and fellow Prometheus survivor Elizabeth Shaw's arrival at the planet, their ship accidentally released a pathogen that annihilated all fauna on the planet and that Shaw perished when the ship crashed. Attempts to radio the Covenant are prevented by ion storms. When the remaining Neomorph infiltrates the temple and kills crew member Rosenthal, David tries to communicate with it and is incensed when Orm shoots it dead. Orm questions David, who reveals that aliens are a result of his releasing and experimenting with the pathogen to produce new life forms, before tricking Orm into being attacked by a facehugger. A new form of creature, the protomorph later erupts from Orem's chest, killing him. As the others search for Orem and Rosenthal, Walter finds Sho's dissected corpse, used by David as material for his evolving creature designs. David states that humanity is a dying and unworthy species and that his designed creature is a perfect organism that will eradicate them. When Walter disagrees, David disables him and threatens Daniels. Walter heals himself and engages David, allowing Daniels to escape. Elsewhere, another facehugger attacks security chief Dan Lope. Crew member Cole quickly cuts it off, leaving Lope with acid burns on his face. The now fully grown protomorph kills Cole, while Lope escapes and meets up with Daniels. Tennessee arrives in a lander to extract Daniels, Lope and Walter, who says David has expired. They kill the attacking protomorph and return to the Covenant. The next morning, Daniels and Tennessee discover another protomorph has burst from Lope's chest, killing him, and is loose on the Covenant. It matures and kills crew members Ricks and Upworth while they were in the shower having sex with blaring loud music playing disabling them from hearing the alarm and warning on the PA system. Daniels and Tennessee lure the creature into Covenant's terraforming bay and eject it into space. Covenant resumes its voyage to Origin 6. As Walter puts Daniels in stasis, she realizes he is actually David but is unable to escape from her pod before falling asleep. David regurgitates to face hugger embryos, which he places in cold storage with the human embryos, and inspects the colonists. Posing as Walter, he sends a transmission in which 
He says all crew members except Daniels and Tennessee were killed by the earlier solar flare. Incident. 